my fellow Stampin' Friends, it's Laura Van Vertlo. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm going on my 15th year this year. Super, super excited about that. So it is celebration time and I made this card for club and you know, with everything running rampant, we decided to go virtual this month. So I'm doing a video for them and I thought I'd share it with you guys. It is using the Friendly Hello stamp set coordinating designer series paper and you can get the combo the paper and the stamp set when you spend a hundred dollars it's one of the um hundred dollar choices that you can have for the celebration and look at these fun patterns i love this paper it is so springy and just it's fun and on a day like today where it's cold and windy here now in Texas, which is bizarre. Well, maybe not in winter, but we're not used to wind chill. Anyway, uh, so this is Granny Apple Green. We've got some pool party, fresh freesia. We've got some pale papaya. And it's just, it's gorgeous. You really do need to get this set. Um, I will post a link at the end of the video and in the comments if you would like to get this for your stash. And then, um, so if you're a club member watching this, or if you would just want to cut everything and make the card, excuse me, out of breath. Okay, um, as I made it, this is a five and a fourth by four, wait, sorry, five and a half by four and a fourth once you fold it. So this is half a piece of um, cardstock. That would be five and a half by eight and a half. So I'm going to put that to the side, and then you'll also have a uh, basic white piece that is um, four inches by five and a fourth inches, and I'm going to put that to the side, and then I'm going to put this strip of paper. It's from the um, Hello Friendly Hello Designer Series paper, and there's the other side, so obviously I don't really like that combination together. So we're gonna go kind of monochromatic with this today. This is one and one half inch by five and a fourth. I'm just gonna put that to the side. And then I went ahead and ran this, uh, I don't know if you can see the texture on it. It's the um, Tasteful Textiles, I think is the name of it. I love this embossing folder. Um, we used to have a subtle one and this one kind of replaced it for me. I'm on my second embossing folder. Of course, some, some of them I just have to have two, but I love it because it's just subtle enough, but it gives you just enough texture um, to really make that card have just more pop to it. So I went ahead and did that part. So you can see this is where it goes on the card. And then now we, and I went ahead and cut this out of the layering circles, has the scallops, and then the circle part fits right in there. I'll put that to the side. So really, we're just gonna be dealing with these two pieces today. And I've got my memento. If I can get it open, it's brand new. I finally broke down and bought a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna ink up our little bird. Like so. And this is kind of hard. Let me pull it a little bit closer just so I can get it inside that circle. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp a little bird. And there's that. Looks good. And I think that's all I need. I think I did a little stamp on the inside, but I'll come to that in a minute. Um, so I'll put him to the side so he doesn't get dirty. And now we are going to do the Bursa Mark. And I just remembered I left my heat gun in the other room. Shoot. Okay. Um, so here's the Bursa Mark. So I will try to speed up the video and I did this kind of off to the side and the first mark has several purposes. It gives you kind of like, I could leave it like that and you could just see a little bit darkened color and see the, you know, sentiment as is. It's, uh, will act as sort of like a glue for the embossing powder to stick. I think that's my new, actually that's my new one, that's interesting. So here's the white embossing uh, powder that comes in a, uh, 
Let's see. I think they come in threes now. I think you have your metallics in one and then your black, your white, and your clear come in the other. I might be wrong. I'll we'll have to double check that. So I used the embossing buddy before we got on here just to save a little bit of time. Because I really didn't want a whole bunch of those little white pieces. So I'm going to run and do the heat gun real quick or grab it real quick. <clears throat> I knew I forgot something. And of course my plug's underneath. Okay. I'm gonna do it down here so it's not so loud. And the white takes a little bit more, but you can definitely tell because it gets, see how white it's turning now? That powder is just melting, but it really makes that pop off of the black. And there goes the H, and we're, whoops, gotta get that F, there we go. So we're done with that. Put that down quietly without it crashing down here. Okay. So pretty much all I did from this point is I got a little bit of ink from my fresh freesia. I put a little bit of re-inker in there. And I got my blender pens, and I'll tell you what, if you're new to stamping, this is one of the things I tell people to get at the very beginning. You have two tips. They look like they're dirty, but as you can see, they're not. I'm, that's how I clean them in between uses. You get three of these pens per pack, and I think it's $12. Don't quote me on that. Um, but what you can do is pick up ink and then just transfer it straight to the paper and it kind of gives you a watercolory look. So if you just have a few ink pads and one of these, it's like you have markers as you, you know, save up. Cause honestly, you know, you can't buy everything all at once, but I wouldn't mind. It took me a while to get my stash up, and but I still love using these because it's a really great coloring tool. And um, right there, gave it just a little bit of accent to the middle of the flowers to kind of look, make it uh, fit into the monochromatic. And of course, you know, I have to go and anybody who knows me, I love my Wink Estella. And then I used that right here and there we go and now it's just basically putting the card together so we do this really quickly because um let's see let me move that so i don't knock over because there's nothing more fun than cleaning up embossing powder and i have kitty cats that's how i know how fun it is to clean it up there it is i've got my stamp and seal and for those of you that if you might be having issues or you haven't tried it, the best way to do this is to pull and go forward. Pull, go forward. And that gives it a nice clean break. Um, it takes a little bit of practice. And once I got used to it, now I absolutely love these. So I just glued that straight on top with the um, stamp and seal. And then I'm going to put three dimensionals on the back so it pops up when we get to that step. And then I'm gonna put some more seal. I see what I like the other side to go on the front so it looks more textured. Uh, speaking of building your supplies, who 
likes to have a bargain? I know I do. And with it being celebration, it's a great time to do it. Is to join us. Don't have to hold any classes. You can just do it for the discount. You can have your friends help you, you know, meet the quarterly minimums. So it's really or not that bad. Because honestly, I was spending that much before I joined. When I would go to Joann's, excuse me. Shouldn't have mentioned that, but you get the drift. And now I just buy for myself. And then now that I hold clubs, uh, it helps me pay for my habit. And it's a nice habit, if you ask me. Okay, so there's the inside. So back to the celebration. During celebration, I'm going to step that little flower right there. Um, you can get two free stamp sets in current anywhere, either catalog. And you can get them on top of the $125 custom kit that you pick, all that for $99. So if you got two of the higher price stamp sets, you're looking to close to $180 worth of um, stuff for just $99. It's a bargain. Um, if, and if you sign up now, um, we were what, January, you get a full quarter to meet your first minimum. So that's June. So message me if you have more questions, but really it's honestly the best way to build your stash, make new friends. We have a lot of fun, to fun together. All right, so let me go back to putting this together. I think I put this little guy on here like so. Just gave it just a little bit on the side. All right, and then I did this one straight down. This one's coming to the end. Yep, I see the red. There's a little bit of red st strip that you'll see that will show you that you're at the end. I'm going to have to trim this up just a little bit. Okay, and it looks like I have the scallops overlap just so slightly on here. And then I have these cute, sorry, iridescent rhinestones, um, 158130. And they're the perfect complement to this card because it kind of picks up that opaque color. I'm looking for my, there it is. Take your pick tool, another must to have. Um, this is for your dies when they come out of the uh, big shot, the detailed ones. Excuse me, not the big shot. Stamp cut and box machine. Oh, it's hard to get used to calling it that. <laughs> so much better though. Okay, so I just added, you want to go in threes and keep it an odd number when you put your gemstones down. Um, but back to this, take your pick. If you just twist this and pull it off, you have a little spatula. And then so you can pick up little things with it like there. And then you see, you saw the point. And then this unscrews. And you have a couple more attachments. It comes, this is only, oh, I want to say $10. You get two of these with it. And then you have your stylus. You have your little stylus and your big stylus. Oh, that goes on this one, sorry. And then this goes in there and you screw it in. And it's for your sequins. It's got a little bit of clay. Just like that. And it, you go and pick up your sequins and place it down where you want them. And then that way that static doesn't get stuck to your fingers. But anyway, I had to show you that because it's one of my favorite must have tools if you're gonna be new to stamping. Anyway, so here's this card again and the stamp set. Really cute, really fun card. Makes it quick and easy when you use the colors that are in the back of the designer series paper. So that's all for today. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or comments and have a great day.